Buddhist, a Hindu, a Jew or a Jain, a Shinto, a Taoist or a Confucian, a pagan, a Wiccan, a Satanist, a Christian or a Mason, an animistic native, a Gnostic or an agnostic, even an atheist will all mean the same concept, different prophets and prophetesses, different gods and goddesses, different beings and beliefs are neither, but the same divine essence that never ceases to be professed or manifested, it's endless. It's endless. Since so many ask me the same question as to what my faith or religious beliefs happen to be from a basic perspective, let me say to this question, let me say to this question, if I was a Christian, I'd be an apocryphal animistic gnostic like the mystic Anthony the Coptic, because nature is far more important than all the pages of so-called sacred lore of the Bible you can talk of or admire. This is what I was born as, and Yeshua is a great messenger. He is a mighty aura like Radha and Krishna. But remember, Christ and Mary and Magdalena were not Christians. If I was a Muslim, I'd be a Baha'i or a Sufi. Trust this. Too many people view skewed perceptions of Islamic precepts and don't ponder the essence, then stop laws without pausing to talk of the proper context. The problem is most often not the religion of the prophet, but rather the figures that depicted and followed them chronologically. Imam Ali was a wise scholar and his lines were prophecy like the Bab and Baha'u'llah And they were all from the house of Muhammad like the Mahdi, peace be upon them Yet Baha'is and Babis are tortured and slaughtered and their writings and thoughts are outlawed across Islamic borders Even as I talk this, even as I talk this If I was a Jew I'd be a Kabbalistic, a Sephardic student The tree of existence that grew and fostered the wisdom we were all gifted with Can be viewed far beyond patriarchally hegemonic Tyrannic scriptures like Joseph Campbell stated in prose staggeringly plain The problem with Yahweh is that he forgot he was not but a tribal deity That used to be a whole Judaic pantheon before like an Islamic Kaaba With Al-Uzza, Manat and Allah But of course all the goddesses were forcefully removed Along with all the gods that were subdued by this dominant and food god Who was also infinitely loving, tolerant and merciful to oddly if I was a Buddhist, I'd be a Vajrayana pupil Because in all the Kagyu schools before this All they taught was that to view Nirvana You had to be removed from Samsara and its horrors But you would be brainwashed too and lost along with your aura So you could never be a Buddha, a Tara, or a Bodhisattva But in Vajrayana, you have to actually practice And pursue acts to collapse the vastly dubious Samsaric society And its ghastly delusions And reincarnate as an activist Buddha Till the masses view the truth and all from the false creeds and illusions And a new society is fostered to breathe and blossom from this blueprint And a new society is fostered to breathe and blossom from this blueprint If I was a Hindu, I'd be a ball like a gory sadhu A sadhvi devoted to Shakti Because too many Vaishnavas despise Shaivites And too many Brahmins despise Kshatriyas and Ashuts And most all of them forgot that only the goddess Kali birthed them all is all of them incarnate, wielding all the weapons and objects as Durga with many arms, from the sword to the scythe, the conch and the trident, the case system needs to be abolished like Ajnana with the sword of Prajna and the Ajna Chakra. There's so many more religions and faiths that I could name, there's an infinity, but all of them are basically the same essentially, if they make exception of mistranslated sayings and sentences, so let me say this instead, I am pagan, I am wicked, I am Jain, I am Shinto, I have a Taoist mental endowed with the senses of clouds, totemic, of animistically shrouded ancestors, I'm a Zoroastrian whirling dervish, boldly fasting and wording sermons, I am holistic and polytheistic, kemetic, pre-Vedic, and proto-Dravidian ascetic, I am a Rasta brethren, growing dreaded locks in another body, spreading the gospels of Empress Men and Asphalt, not just Haile Selassie, I am all of the scrolls and scripts lost in all the oral traditions before and beyond them, most forgot to ponder or listen to, but not out of ignorance, more out of religious restriction and grossly limited visions and senses, there's an ocean of scriptures, knowledge and wisdom that you float upon and drift, it's not just a peer in spring, you don't need to peer and drink, but cheerfully swim and feel all the years of existence in each drop. Breathe not when in deep waters. Surface first, then ponder the Akashic contents till you burst with mirth and rejoice in all of it from your purpose searched. And rejoice in all of it from your purpose searched.